One of the food additives added to flower foods is monosodium glutamate, that is Chinese salt. My name is Dr. Nargis and I am known as pharmacist and toxicologue. I give healthy skin and body tips to health conscious people to look their best. Welcome to my channel. You may have heard about the ongoing discussions on social media and in the news about monosodium glutamate, which is also known as E621. Is it actually bad for you? Monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG, is the sodium salt form of glutamic acid. In fact, glutamic acid is a non-essential flowering amino acid that is naturally found in high amounts in certain foods such as parmesan cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms, meat and soy sauce. In addition, more than 95% of dietary glutamate is a source of energy for intestinal interests and is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Glutamate plays a key role in our digestion, muscles function and immune system. In 1907, Kina Ikeda, a professor of chemistry at the University of Tokyo, isolated the salt form of glutamate from kombu seaweed, which is often used in Japanese cuisine. Thus, MSG spread to the world and became the best known source of the amino acid glutamate produced by fermentation, which is widely used in ready-to-eat foods in many countries, especially in Southeast Asia, such as Chinese and Japanese cuisine, and in many countries. In general, it is a method used by Japanese and Chinese cuisine to increase aroma and flavor, namely the use of MSG. This substance, called MSG, is also known as the fifth flavor. As we know, we have four flavors, sweet, bitter, sour, and salty. Our fifth flavor is called umami, it means delicious taste in Japanese. If you ask how imami tastes, it is the extra taste sensation that we cannot say salty, but we will get from salty foods. If you say where there is the most, it has chips. In other words, it is in almost every packaged food that we want to eat without stopping ourselves. In addition, there are products that naturally contain MSG without adding. For example, soy sauces. During the production of soy sauce, MSG is released as a result of its fermentation as an artisan. I said MSG is also known as Chinese salt, just as we know that normal table salt enhances the flavor of food, eating without salt can sometimes even feel like that. Just like normal salt, MSG or Chinese salt is a flavor enhancer, it increases the saliva secretion and strengthens the flavor properties of the food. It can be found in almost every food, chips, parmesan cheese, nuts, chewing gum, ready-made mat balls, broad tablets, instant soups, ice creams, colorful yogurts, hamburgers, salad dressing, raw meatballs, and many similar products. If MSG monosodium glutamate or E621 is written on the packaging, know that these substances has been used in it. It is thought that this additive, which increases the test, may lead to obesity. Because MSG makes people think that the flavor properties of the food are high, making people want to eat more and faster. However, the main accusations against him were identified in a report written in 1967 by Dr. Robert Human Kwok to a prestigious medical journal called the New England Medical Journal. Dr. Robert Kwok reported that MSG, which he experienced in a Chinese restaurant, had adverse effects such as numbness in the back of the neck, numbness in both arms and back, general weakness, and reported this as Chinese restaurant syndrome. The effect of MSG on the digestive system begins with an increase in salivation, and it has not been proven that it is harmless yet. Chest pain, headache, redness on the face, shortness of breath, edema, sweating, disorders in learning and memory mechanisms, 
harmful effects on the nervous system, retina and kidneys of the baby due to excessive use during pregnancy and infertility, growth disorder, Alzheimer's, like this. It is suggested that it may cause neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and epilepsy. Although there is a group that argues that it can have so many adverse effects, some argue that MSG does not deserve these accusations and that these legendary effects are created by MSG competitors. According to famous gourmet Anthony Burden, the reason why Chinese salt or MSG is accused of allegedly causing Chinese restaurant syndrome is not that this fifth flavor is harmful, but that racism still prevails in America in 1968 and an attempt to prevent Chinese food from being ahead of American food. Trying to create a perception that Chinese food is harmful so that ethnic dishes such as Chinese food are not eaten. On the other hand, there is no clear evidence in the current scientific literature to document that MSG can cause serious acute or chronic medical problems in the general population. In my personal opinion, the biggest harm of MSG is that it increases the test and makes you eat it as you eat. For example, MSG naturally found in pickles because it is formed spontaneously during the fermentation of the pickle, makes the pickles eat as they are eaten. I don't think you should stay away from naturally occurring MSG. However, MSG added foods and packaged products should be approached carefully because these foods are eaten a lot by the food industry and thus sold a lot. For example, a product that has no nutritional value such as chips, we can say that putting MSG in it and making it eat as if it is an indispensable thing is a kind of industry using these additives as a weapon. Of course, it can have an unpacked effect in excessive consumption. This is the rule that applies to every food. What did we say? The difference between medicine and poison was the doses. However, even the abundant use of MSG in the cuisine of the Japanese who can live up to age of 100 is an absorptional indicator. The difference is if we consume MSG in sweet soup, salad and sushi, it is not a problem. But we consume it in Burger King, McDonald's burger or Doritos, we should look for the problem elsewhere, not in MSG. That's all I'm gonna tell you today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for so much more great information. Check out these videos. Thank you so much. Stay healthy.